What's going on YouTube? Today we are going to show you how to smoke, brine, cure, prepare mountain whitefish. Now this is actually a beautiful fish um, and a lot of people don't think uh, they're good to eat because there are a lot of bones in them but the meat is delicious, they're easy to catch. We're fly fishing south fork of the snake. It's my uncle John. Came out here hey. from Wisconsin. Uh, by route of California, but it's okay. We're gonna say Wisconsin while we're in Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> and uh, we never really fly fish before. Uh, supposedly the uh, rainbow trout are spawning. So we're gonna figure it out, see if we catch some fish. Yeah, fish on. Uncle John, they're biting. Apparently, I haven't noticed that. I think it's another cutthroat. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's a nice cutthroat. Whew. Beautiful cutthroat, purebred, no white tips on the fins. Goodbye. Another white fish. Yeah. Uh, water temperature is really cold, so we're gonna try it out. Another white fish. <laughs> this one's coming home with us. That's a fish. This one feels bigger. Uh, another white fish. We're gonna have ourselves a, a white fish smoke party. It's gonna be good. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. I lost my... Did you lose your fly? Fish on. Another white fish. As long as you brine them and smoke them, the bones soften up and it's actually pretty, pretty good. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to brine uh, the fish. The first step that you wanna do, you wanna take a gallon of water, just like this, and then you take a cup of canning salt. It'll look like this, to say canning salt on it. And put that in the water. 
perfect. And then you probably want some spices. Um, we're gonna use rosemary in this fish. Throw that in there. Great. Now throw the fish in. And you wanna let this soak for two hours, at least, in the refrigerator. So put it in the refrigerator, let it soak, uh, and this is going to get the salty flavor down into the meat, help soften up those bones. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge, and then we'll come back in a couple hours. We just put the fish inside the smoker. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Laid it out evenly. Oh yeah, that's looking really good. And you can see that I put the rosemary on top there. The smoke has already started, uh, and this is just looking, this is looking phenomenal. This right here, temperature, very important. The goal is to get it to 160 degrees for 30 minutes, and we're gonna put the end of this thermometer into the thickest part of the meat on the top shelf, the coolest part. What that's looking like there, awesome. Close this back up. Good, there you go. So already the fish is a couple degrees hotter than the ambient temperature, that's good. Change the adjustment to medium. And wow, look at that smoke coming out. This is gonna be good. And we can see our thermometer here, just over 160. And I'm going to turn it down just a hair. I don't wanna overcook the fish, uh, so I'm trying to keep it at 160. Got the timer going. 30 minutes at this temperature, we'll pull it out. And it's good to go. So we got a temperature of 167. Just, that's within tolerances. This has been cooking for half an hour. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah. That's a good smoke session right there. Look at that. I'm take this piece right here. And the brine makes it salty. The rosemary gives it a nice flavor. And honestly, I don't taste any bones in this meat. How is this? I'm gonna try it again. Look at that. Mountain whitefish. Smoky, almost sweet. And the rosemary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So next time you're fishing, you catch a bunch of whitefish, just smoke them up. They're delicious, easy to catch, ton of meat. This is great. This is just as good as trout. Honestly, it's it's good. Listen, if you like if you like fish, if you like smoking things, like this video, share it, subscribe. If you want to see more, leave it in the comments. If you want some of this fish, get the hell out of here.